Welcome back to Pink Park Wizard. In today's video, I'm going to talk about the announcement of SeaWorld San Diego's brand new roller coaster. So, yesterday they had a great media event where they um, had people you know, tour the construction site of the new coaster called Arctic Rescue. As you can see, and it's going to be a straddle coaster. It'll be the longest and fastest straddle coaster in the, on the West Coast. It'll be 30 feet tall with a maximum speed of 40 miles per hour and have three launches. The first launch will actually be in the same station that the Wild Arctic Simulators um, used, which is pretty cool. And like the actual track, you can see, kind of see the doors, the X doors, the Arctic Simulator, where the actual track is. They already saw some of the blue track there, which is pretty awesome. Nice, great use of space. And so it's going to reinvigor the, well, the Wild Ar Arctic Exhibit, um, which will be exiting and entering out of going on to this ride, which is awesome. All the awesome animals are there. We'll all be getting some refreshed um, enclosures, and it'll look fantastic. This coast, of course, will, again, will have three launches. Launching The first launch will be 30 or 0 to 34 miles per hour. The second launch will take you up to 38 miles per hour. The third launch will take you up to 40 miles per hour. The maximum height will only be again, 30 feet because of the regulations by the California Coastal Commission. Only about four sites in SeaWorld San Diego can go above that 48 or 30 feet. And those sites are obvious now. They have Journey to Atlantis, Electric Eel, and Emperor. Those are the three sites. I believe there's one more site. That SeaWorld has not built on yet. They can do a coaster that's taller than 30 feet. Manson takes advantage uh, or uses um, this restriction as well as it can as well. It has a drop of 42 feet because it goes underground. Air crows under, underground as you dive down below the bridge there. This could have something similar where you kind of dive down um, so the drop is longer, actually longer than 30 feet. But this coaster will be turning uh, more focused on twists and turns. As it will be a smaller version of the SeaWorld San Antonio version of the coaster. Wave Breaker, which looks fantastic. It's a great family fun coaster. And that one, you're on jet skis as you go ahead and you actually jet ski, jet ski, air quotes, along the, along the bay over there. Going through launches, and this will be just like the dark coat recently announced dark coaster at well, Bush Gardens Williamsburg. Bush Gardens Williamsburg that will be an indoor coaster with some awesome theme as well. This coaster will certainly not be light on theming as Emperor is. Emperor doesn't even have again a station covering as they ran out of the budget for that attraction. Hopefully, that one gets a refurbishment soon. We're going to add some nice the thematic elements, and especially a shade structure, at least for the station for the summer. This one, again, the loading will be inside. Oh, the queue will be indoors. The theming will be top notch because the Wild Arctic theming is already top notch. The coaster itself, when you get to the actual portion, will have awesome theming. It is a terrain coaster you kind of see in this video. So there's a Wild Arctic, the one over the ocean there. But you kind of see there's kind of snow. They'll probably put some fake snow in there. They label this as a terrain coaster, so it'll be going in, out, above, and below the snow. The fake snow that they put out here in the staging area, and I'm sure they'll really. I hope they don't. I hope they don't at least you know skim out on the theming. I hope they really put it in there. Put in lots of snow. Uh, put in lots of thematic elements. Maybe some near misses or some head chopper elements. That'll be pretty cool as well. Um. And make it really feel like you're on a snowmobile. And the whole storyline to this attraction is that you are on a snowmobile going out to the Arctic to save endangered animals from the ongoing climate crisis. And save them and bring them back to SeaWorld to put them in the wild Arctic exhibit. A very nice um, storyline. It, it makes sense. It's what they do in the real world. And now you'll be a part of the SeaWorld team. Very simple, nice, not too complicated storyline. And I really like it. I'm very excited that SeaWorld continues to add new rides and new coasters to its park. I mean, 
thing. Come on. Since what? Since 2004 to 2022, like that 17 years, starting from Journey to Atlantis' opening, they have really gotten a lot of rides at Six Coast. It used to be their Six Coast, and now plenty of other attractions have opened. But they haven't lost focus of the animal exhibits as well. So that's, I'm really glad for SeaWorld making this park, because all the other SeaWorld parks have rides and attractions. But the original SeaWorld San Diego, this one, of course, started as a bio-research facility. And then they made it into a theme park. So they didn't have any rides for a long time, even when I went there when I was younger. Journey to Atlantis was kind of the first big ride they had there. Now look, they've really come a long way with getting six coasters and they're family friendly and thrill coasters. So like about half are family friendly, half are thrilling. Which is good SeaWorld's bringing a nice balance there. They have plenty of awesome rides for the whole family and everybody else, so that's great. So I'm glad SeaWorld continues to move in this direction at all their parks. And uh, hopefully, it really, I mean, their image is definitely, I think, improving since the Blackfish situ situation. I know there are people that won't go there because of Blackfish. Um, but and I have friends included, but I have also friends that still want to go to SeaWorld. More people have been going to SeaWorld. Their attendance numbers have been popping up, obviously, pre-pandemic. So very exciting time for SeaWorld and the Bush Gardens parks. Um, funny people still go to Bush Gardens because I don't think they know that SeaWorld owns them. So I feel like people that don't, that are upset about the Blackfish documentary, still go, again, still go to Bush Gardens because I feel like they don't know that SeaWorld also owns them. But, um, anyway, that's a little tidbit. But I'm proud of SeaWorld. I think they're going in the right direction. I'm very excited for this new attraction. It'll be fun for the whole family, just like Manta is. Um, provide some thrill. Provide some, uh, just thrill for younger people and older people. And if you want something more thrilling, you can go right on next door's Emperor in the lecture yield. So you have plenty of opportunities there. SeaWorld, great job, especially if you don't skim out on theming as you go with Emperor. And hopefully they can improve Emperor uh, theming-wise later on. But I think this is fantastic. I will do another breakdown, or breakdown of SeaWorld, Orlando, or SeaWorld San Antonio's new launch coaster, or launch flume. They call it a launch flume coaster. I will make a debate if it's really a roller coaster or not. I don't think it is. But I'll break down that announcement deal to tomorrow, then when SeaWorld Orlando does theirs about their surf coaster, I'll go ahead and uh, break down that. They're waiting because of Hurricane Ian. And speaking of Hurricane Ian, prayers to end. Uh, everyone out there impacted by Hurricane Ian, stay safe out there if you're in Florida or visiting Florida. I'm seeing a lot of storm pictures, uh, a lot of flooding going on, so I hope your house is not underwater. If it, is, if it is, I hope you aren't underwater. I hope you're safe and sound and you know, got out of there if you're riding it out. I hope your belongings and your families are A-OK. -okay. Um, I might do a live stream, like a fundraiser type of live stream uh, in the next couple of days for all the Hurricane Ian uh, victims out there. Uh, but yeah, anyway, if you liked this video, press the like button, subscribe for more theme park updates, and you can break down of other SeaWorld announcement content. And as always, have a fantastic day.